Hello everyone. In today's Finish Strong Friday tip, I wanted to cover alignment masking. Now I personally haven't thought about this one in a while, but it actually came up during a conversation with a user this week who was new to Civil 3D. So what is alignment masking? Alignment masking is an alignment property that allows you to hide areas of an alignment. That includes the alignment itself and any labels that are attached to it. So why do we mask or why would we mask an alignment? Well, there's several reasons, but the most common I would say is to improve the quality of the printed sheet. So let's get started. Notice here on the west side of the project, I have more alignment than I have project. This is where the road project begins at station four. So the most common reasons for this happening, number one may be that uh, I wanted to show more existing profile. Maybe there's something of particular interest that happens before the start of the job. So I wanna see more existing ground profile. Another reason could be just phasing. So this project had a small project in phase one that went to station four and then continued with phase two. So whatever the reason, I would like to remove this from the view, just this portion of the alignment where I can still see the rest of the alignment and labels. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to alignment properties. By selecting the alignment on the ribbon, I'm gonna to go to alignment properties. I'm gonna to go to the masking tab and I'm gonna select add a masking region. This, I'm going to show you a quick trick here. Instead of snapping to the first station, I'm just going to click close. And then for the second station, I am going to snap with an endpoint snap to the beginning of the job. And notice this little button here. This was a trick I mentioned, lock to start. So you notice I didn't have to click that actual start station. And now I've hidden that area for the alignment. Notice it is just a property. So if I go back, I can actually turn the mask back on without deleting it. I need to see it temporarily, and then I can go back and turn that mask back on. So let's take a look down here near the bridge area. Maybe I'd like to hide the stationing for that same alignment in this area. So I'm gonna select the alignment again, go to alignment properties, add another masking region. By hitting the plus, I'm gonna snap, start station here, end station with a snap here. Hit okay. Now you can see I've masked the alignment and its labels through the bridge area. So there's a lot of other uses of the tool. I just wanted to show the basics here today. Two quick notes. The alignment masking will show through an XREF, which you would expect. One important note on referencing is data references. So if I connect to a data shortcut referencing into my drawing, I cannot add or change the existing masking regions for that alignment, which that kind of makes sense, right? A data reference, you typically want to change things like the style, but the base properties of the alignment, you wouldn't want to change if you're just referencing a data shortcut. So the workflow there would be to go back into the source drawing or whoever has access to that source drawing, add the mask that you need. Then when you reconnect or reopen that file that you're where you're referencing that data shortcut, the mask will show up. So my goal today was to show the basics of the alignment masking functionality in Civil 3D. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.